Hello everyone, welcome back to Realty Channel. Recently, there are many foreigners asking me how to get a long-term visa in Vietnam. And today, together with Ms. Hana, the expert in the field, will help you answer this question. Hello everyone, I'm Hana uh, from HNS Consultancy and Development Company. Um, 15 years experience in the visa and uh, business consulting uh, service for foreigner company in Vietnam. So today we are talking about visa option for foreigner to stay and uh, move into Vietnam with Koi. So as uh, foreigners have a lot of questions about getting a visa in Vietnam, it seems like uh, the longest visa for the foreigners will be only 30 days. Is it correct? Um, yes, before 2023, after the COVID um, pandemic, the, visa, the e visa for foreigners to able to come to Vietnam only 30 days. However, into 20 end of 2023, the government, the uh, immigration of uh, department already expand to be 90 days for the e-visa with on purpose. So you mean now the e-visa is increased from 30 days to 90 days? Yes, correct. For multiple entry or? Single and multi and multiple entry. Oh, so for single and multiple entry. And if some countries, they have the free visa to Vietnam, do they have uh, the same thing? Uh, for the uh, exemption visa for some European country and um, you know, uh, or even Asian country. We spend from 30 days to 45 days at the moment. Well, so some uh, European countries or Asian countries with the, these exemptions uh, will be increased from 30 days to 45 days. Yes. Yeah, so these are very good news. And uh, however, like uh, most of the foreigners, when they come to Vietnam, they tend to stay longer. 45 days or 90 days seems not enough for them because most of them want to stay here to uh, open business, to discover the opportunity or to retire. Uh, for this group of foreigners, do you have any strategy or solution for them to get a longer visa? Actually, for foreigners who would like to stay in Vietnam more than 90 days, somehow they need to have some option like the first one open up a company in Vietnam to be able to apply for a longer term visa or TRC depend on their capital contribution into the company. The second option that they work on the company and apply for work permit. Based on their work permit, they can apply two year TRC to stay in Vietnam. Or the other option, the third option is, uh, you know, if they have a Vietnamese spouse, they can, uh, based on the marriage certificate, they can apply for two or three year TRC based on their um, um, relationship. So it seems like there are only three options for them like that. Marrying a Vietnamese spouse, having a job in mm. Vietnam or open their own business. So there are no other visa like uh, retirement visa or investment visa. For the retirement visa, actually only a proposal from the government, but there is no official uh, approval about the retirement visa for foreigners in Vietnam yet. One other, like, you know, visa uh, tie for Vietnamese citizens to be able to get a five-year visa exemption in Vietnam if they have a family member in Vietnam to sponsor for their longer five-year visa exemption. So for the group of uh, foreigners who come here to work, it's easy for them to have uh, like a work permit to ask for long-term visa because their companies will sponsor that for them. But uh, for the group of people who uh, retire, so they don't want to find a job in Vietnam, what will be the option? The option is, you know, they must uh, like pay on the law. They must set up a company or they must have a Vietnamese spouse. All right, I don't think they, it's an option for them to find a spouse. Yeah, it's likely, but uh, it's not common. So could you please explain more about the option of opening a business in Vietnam to have a long-term visa? Yeah, to open up a company in Vietnam somehow, foreigners will require to have an 
office address or capital contribution into this company and somehow their background of work from overseas. So the requirements for the foreigners to open the business in Vietnam will be firstly they have to rent an office. Yes. Can this be like a co-working space or you know a virtual space? Yeah, some business activity for the co-working space or even virtual office space is okay. And uh, secondly, they have to uh, have the capital contribution. Uh, how much is it? Uh, there is no minimum or maximum capital contribution is required by law. However, you know, my suggestion that they should uh, register capital about 10,000 or up to more than that amount. All right, so minimum is uh, 10,000. 10,000. Uh, the question is, do they have to maintain that 10,000 during the whole time of their business in Vietnam or, or just need it in the setup time? At the setup time. Okay. Somehow they need to open up a bank account, then contribute the capital into the company. And then after that, you know, they can withdraw, they can save, they can do whatever based on their capital contribution. They don't need to put it on the time in the bank account. How long does it take to set up the company like that? It takes about three weeks to one month. Three weeks, okay. Three to four weeks. And uh, after the company is uh, established, how long more does it take to have the long-term visa? It will take one week to ten days. Okay, so it will take another week. So totally it will be about... Five to six weeks. Five to six weeks. And how long is that visa? You know, if like the capital lower than one hundred twenty thousand US dollar, we can apply one year multi entry investor visa for foreigner. Okay. And if the capital is higher than one hundred twenty thousand, we can apply two or three year TRC right. based on the 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 capital contribution, how much, and about the business activity. If they have uh, revenue, if they have expense or anything in the company that time. What should be the market fee to uh, establish or set up a company like that? Um, there are many price, but somehow, as I know, the market price to set up a 100% for their own company is from 1,200 to 1,500 year dollar at the moment. After the company is established, what should be the fees to maintain that company in one year, approximately? Depend on your company transaction. If your company have a, a lot of transaction, of course, the accounting fee, like audit fee, or some other fee can be increased. But if just basic thing, I think that like uh, the like the maintenance fee for accounting and all the thing is, uh, and also the photo office service somehow it will cost you about one thousand. A dollar uh, a year. So it seems like the total uh, price, including the setup and the maintenance fee for the front uh, to get a long term visa, will be around 2000 something. Yeah, 2000 something. So, in your opinion, do you know that uh, this one is uh, like acceptable price to have a long term visa comparing to, let's say, Thailand or Malaysia, for example? Yeah, I think so. There are many options about getting your long term visa in Vietnam. So if you want to know more detail, please comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you. Thank you a lot for watching the clip today. If you like this clip, please press the like button. Also press the subscribe button. Subscribe does help. Thank you again and see you next week. Hello, I'm Hannah. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> for foreigners to live and uh, move into Vietnam. So I'm with Koi today. I'm 15 years experience in this visa and business consulting service.